All right, what's going on, guys? New Force here, bringing you a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys yet another Black Ops 4 video. And in today's Black Ops 4 video, I want to start the series that I am going to call Best Classes of Black Ops 4, which basically I'm going to go through every single weapon in the game, show off the best class in my personal opinion, and then I am going to show off streaks and clips with that class throughout the video so you guys can see why I believe that it's so good. And for our first episode today, we are going to start with the Assault Rifles. We are going to start with the ICR-7. Now this is the class right here. I run Double Grip with Quick Draw, Cap 45 for Secondary, and then we we have stim shot scavenger lightweight and ghost that is my class that i run with the icr7 as i said i'm gonna show off some streaks and clips that i do end up getting with this class in today's video so hopefully you guys go on to enjoy this video and if you do go on to enjoy this video please drop a like and also subscribe and if you do end up subscribing please hit that notification button so you get notified every single time i upload also follow me on twitter Link in the description down below. But with that being said, let's hop right into the gameplay. There is a kill right there. Somehow just won a gunfight with the spit against the Spitfire. Makes no sense how. But we did. And teammates going off, okay. No! There's so many people! Push me! They were like, I, that, I don't even know what to say. I don't understand how I'm alive right now. And I got Tempest. Nope, but he's missing me. He can't kill me. Let me stand up. Let me stand up. Holy shit. It wouldn't let me stand up, man. I could have killed that guy. Like, how long is the Tempest going to keep you on the ground for? That is ridiculous. Hostile Alright, there's a kill right there. Enemy Let's removed. make it to. We are here. On Nuketown now. Nuketown is actually a really good map for this weapon. It's actually like this car is like the perfect place to use this weapon. Like, it is literally perfect. Oh my god, like, as you guys can see, man, like, this weapon, it absolutely shreds, and that head glitch just helps out, like, a ton. There is a kill right there. That guy's super weak. Oh, he was about to kill me. That was actually surprising that he didn't heal. That was actually kind of a smart play, that he didn't heal, because I expected him to, like, duck behind the car and then give me a, a couple seconds to just, like... Really focus my aim on when he popped back up, but like he didn't heal. I doubt that he did that on purpose because he's like level he's like level eight, but Hold still, heals coming. Even the fact that he didn't, it was still like a pretty smart play, not even gonna lie. Seraph engaged. Guy right there. Another one. There's another guy. Oh my god, let's go off with the ICR. Oh what is this spawn? Somebody explain. The spawns in this game. Why did they spawn behind me? That is ass. They literally spawned behind us. But I, st I, I don't know how I'm alive, I'm gonna be honest. And this guy's gonna oh, get our money back! Holy shit, how are we alive? Okay. This is definitely the best game that I have had all day. And I've been playing for a while. Like, I have just been playing like complete shit. And it's honestly my fault because I am just rushing stupid scenarios. Oh, drone squad stole my kill! No! And then as soon as I need the drone squad to save me, I die to the Hades. <laughs> there is a kill. Right there. We are still here on Nuketown. We have been going off this entire game. Currently 25 and 4. That guy is somehow dead. There's another one. Let's get him. No! Let me get this 200 health. 200 health is honestly the clutchest thing in the world when you can get it to work properly. Like, 200 health, if you can do it, like, in the perfect time, you can save your teammates' lives, and you can save yours. It's just, it's just 
It's honestly a great, like, team specialist to run. Okay. Ow! He only hit me once, so I still got 175? No! And then I got melted by the Hades for the second time! In a row. Alright, there's a kill right there. We're gonna kill the guy that's, uh... Reactor coring all of us. Guy up top. He's dead to my cat 45. Oh shit. Ow. That guy is dead. This weapon is like, I don't understand why it's so good. Like, I really don't. Like, in Black Ops 3, the ICR was good, but it wasn't. It wasn't anything special. In this game, the ICR is unstoppable. If you can use the right attachments and get the right things for it, it's it's unstoppable. We're actually really lucky as a community that this thing doesn't get extend max because if it did, I don't know what people would do. If this thing could get extended mags, it would be over for everybody. I don't know why I think extended mags spe spe the specifically would work very well on this this weapon. I mean, I think fast mags would work pretty good as well because, like, I don't know, but it does get 35 bullets per clip. But I feel like if you get extended mags and get like 50 per clip that you would be able to get with the extended max attachment, then this thing would be completely unstoppable. 41 and 5 on Nuketown, my best game of the day, for sure. We got more gameplay coming though, so definitely stay tuned. And with that being said, let's hop right into that gameplay. All right, there's a kill right there. We are back on Nuketown. Not a late join this time, so. They're dead. Let's see what we can do with a full game. I believe I dropped 45 kills last game. I don't No, I was 41 and 5. One by dead bad guy. It's 41 and 5 last game. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 99% sure. Okay, this guy's got a shotgun over here, which I am not fucking with. In the slightest. And the spawns in this game are complete ass. Like why did they spawn there? The world may never know. But it doesn't matter. Because we're starting this game off. Just like how we left off last game, getting our streaks. Okay, we're starting early with the streaks, so we're gonna we're gonna try to keep it going. That guy is running an SDM. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Okay, I'm on fire, and I've died to the fire shotgun guy twice already, and I need to clear my throat. I don't know what the hell is happening. All right, there's a kill right there. Oh my god, that double kill was disgusting. I don't know how I'm alive. There's a guy with a fire shotgun. That guy just spawned right there. What are the spawns in this game? Kid, no. People couldn't continue to push me. Ow. Get up there. Get up there. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna get to 175. I don't know how that guy's alive. No, 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 no. The armor, it's always, it's always the armor that ends up getting me killed. I don't know how this guy's alive. Please die, thank you. There's another one, and another one. This guy has a shotgun. The car exploded, okay, that's cool. Okay, teammate's got a teammate's got SG12. He decided to pull out a shotgun for some reason. Mans is shooting from a mile away. I need a scav pack. This is why we run scavenger, boys. Honestly, scavenger is just a necessity in this game, unless you're running like an LMV. Obviously, then you don't need a scavenger, but. Yeah, I'm out of bullets again. Fuck! I'm gonna die. Yep. Somehow that doesn't damage the people that run the war machine, even though, like, I was inside of him when he shot me. That doesn't really make any sense. There's a kill right there. We're gonna make it two, and then I'm actually gonna hit myself up with this 200 health, because... 
I ended up dying to the auger anyway, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. There's a kill right there. Let's make it two. We are here on Nuketown. Still, I'm gonna die to a shotgun. No, I'm not. I'm really lucky. Look at this. There's another guy. Die. Thank you. There's another one. He's dead. What is going on? I am just going off on Nuketown. I normally never go off on this map. Like, I'm being completely honest. I normally get shit on on this map. And 46 and 12. Not quite as good as the 41 and 5. I believe that I went last game. But 46 and 12 still isn't half bad. I'm, I'm actually really happy with the last two games. Not even gonna lie. Hopefully you guys went on to enjoy that video. Let me know what you guys think about this class down in the comment section below. Will, do you guys think that you'll be using this class setup? Or, uh... Do you guys have a different class set up for the ICR-7? Let me know if you guys have a different one down in the comment section below. That'd be cool to know. Because I definitely want to try out as many classes with this weapon as possible. But with that being said, that is going to be the end of the video. So it's been the new Enforcer. Leave a like and possibly subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I will see you guys in the next video.